Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save values in for the Superpower Trading Simulator game. So when we leave the game, our stats will save. So let's start. In case you didn't see the last episode, which you should because that reworks the system. At the end, we I was showing you to click on game settings at the top. Go to permissions, actually go to security and enable studio access to API services. And then save that. I'm not sure if you could see that on my screen, but it should be pretty simple. Alright, now let's get to the scripting part. In service script service, press the plus and insert a regular script. We can rename this script to save. Or let's do save stats. That's what I'm going to do. So you can remove the print hello world first thing we're gonna do is get data store service so we're gonna do local data store service this is creating a variable called data store service and we're gonna set it to game get service data store service this is getting a service that's in a game that's called data store service which pretty much is quite self-explanatory it saves data or stores data now let's get a data store this is just getting your own data store. You can put anything really in here. Well, I'm just going to put save data because it makes the most sense. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get when the player joins the game. So added connect function. And then we're going to pass player. So this is going to get when the player joins the game. And we're going to put the player set to a player variable. Now, just to make sure that the player is actually fully in the game. We're going to put a little wait. This just puts a delay of 0.1 seconds. So we can make sure the player is fully in the game before we do any extra steps. Now we're going to create a player key. So let's do local player underscore key. This is just making a variable called player key. And we're going to use this to pretty much set the ID of the save so let's say you want to reset stats you can change the save to a different slot like so let's do brackets here you can put whatever name you would like here I'm just gonna do ID 1 so this is the first save and let's say you wanted to change the save to 2 this would pretty much create a new save that has fresh stats but if you change it back to 1 it'll um, load your previously saved stats. I don't know if that makes sense. And now, let's get the player's user ID. So we know we're making sure that it's attached to this specific player. Now, here we're going to get the strength value. So in our leader stats script, you can see we have strength, local strength equals instance dot new, and such like that. It's parented to the player, so we don't have to do anything else besides player dot strength. So we're first going to start by saving our strength value. Go back to your save stats script. Let's do local say or no, local strength. I'm going to put a V for value. We're going to do local strength value equals player dot strength. So this is going to get the strength variable or value that we put inside of the player. Now we're going to get the saved data get saved local get saved we're just making a variable we're gonna set it to data store service get a sync so this is like synchronizing it with the information the player has and we're gonna do player key now if get saved so if the player has data already saved then what we're gonna do is we're going to so we're going to set the value in the table pretty much we're making a table here so strength v is going dot value so now we're getting the strength value this is similar to just doing player dot strength dot value but we're making variables because it's just simpler so we're going to get the value of strength in the player and this is going to equal get saved one so each time we're going to add a new value we're going to increase this um, number so let's say we're gonna do other value dot value then we're going to have to do get saved two. so we just keep increasing it. it's like an order one two three and such but right now we're not doing that part so 
now if it's not already saved what we're gonna do is let's make a look a list of values so local value else local value so this is pretty much if get saved then but if there isn't anything saved so else it's going to do whatever is over here so we're going to do local values equals and then we're going to put these curly brackets for a little table we're going to do strength v dot value so we're just going to get the strength value and put it right there and then we're going to do data store service get async and we're going to do player key and values so we're setting it the players um id or save id and adding the value properties to it so this is the player added function completed now go out of your function so pass this end line and we're going to do game dot players dot player removing so this gets when the player leaves the game and then we're going to connect that to a function and pass player once again so when the player leaves the game we add a parameter for the player and then we're going to run some code here to do something when the player leaves so we're going to do data store service set async so this is setting a value now and what we're going to do is so we're going to get the save ID that we want it to be. So ID 1. Attaching it to player. So we're going to do player.userID. My bad for the mistake there. Now we're going to make a table. So curly brackets. It will be ID 1. Because that's what we made up here. And getting player's user ID. Curly brackets. And what we're going to do is player.strength.value. You want to do this in order that you did it here because if not it can sometimes glitch out so let's go ahead and test this we can close out both of our scripts if you want to catch up i'll leave the script here for a few seconds this is this should save only the strength value for now because we haven't made it save any other values so we'll get to that after we try it out all right i'm gonna hit play and let's see let's let it load right so we can open our stats we have zero strength so let's train a little bit let's get to let's say 25 so as you can see we have 25 strength now now just to make sure now let's stop testing the game and let's restart it so let's hit play once more and our value should have saved as you can see it still says 25 strength and we just left and rejoined the game and if you check in the player and you go to the strength value it is still at 25 so now let's get to saving the other stats so let's go to save stats and let's open our leader stats too next we're gonna save yen because that's our currency and that's something that is kind of important so we're gonna go to save stats where you did the local strength value we're going to go down the line and we're going to do local yin or whatever your currency name is. I'm going to add the V. You don't have to. This can be anything you want. Just remember it for down here and over here. So yin value equals player dot yin. Now go to where you did strength dot value equals get saved one and go down the line. Do yin V dot value equals get saved and this time we're going to do two as i said before we're going to increase this every time we add a new one now after the else in the local va values variable we're going to put a comma so strength v dot value comma so we can add more values here we're going to do yin v dot value so we just add the yin and now finally in our player removing we're going to go to the ends table before the curly bracket and the regular bracket, we're going to put a comma. So we're going to do player.strength.value, comma, and then player.yin.value. Now we have saved yin. So let's continue on. Let's go back to our leader stats. Now we should save endurance. It's the same process. We're going to go come over here. We're going to create a new variable under the local yin or your currency local endurance value equals player dot endurance so we're making another variable for endurance 
let's go back into our get saved statement and we're under the yin dot value equals get saved too we're going to do endurance v dot value equals get saved three keep increasing let's go into our else statement let's put a comma before the curly bracket and after yin v dot value and let's input endurance v dot value now we have three values here and finally in our remove player removing we're going to go to the end of this player dot strength the value comma player dot yin dot value comma once more player dot endurance dot value it's the same process we're going to do this a few times to make sure we have everything saved that we need so we're going to have our multipliers saved and we're going to have our strength endurance and psychic and our currency saved just in, in case you want to organize this you could make the you could add some comments so like let's see put here stats it's a bit out of order already but that's all right only a little bit so it's not a big deal you can do this if you want so now let's add psychic let's do local psychic value equals player dot psychic just like that under the local endurance value equals player dot endurance dot value yes i just hit my knee sorry and now let's get, go to our get saved statement let's add psychic value dot value equals get saved for once again increasing the value let's go to our local values go to the end let's do psychic value dot value and finally in our removing we're going to do a comma and then psych player dot psychic dot value just like that now we should have all of our stats saved now all we've got to do is our multiplier so our strength multiplier endurance multiplier and psychic multiplier so let's do those real quick once again i'm going to create a comment called multipliers real quick oops my bad so let's so under the local psychic value and if you want to add a comment we're going to do local to strength mult value or just v just like we did over here we did strength multi here we're just going to do strength multi v equals player dot strength multi just like we named it over here now we're going to go into our get save once again add another one strength mult value dot value equals get save five let's go into our values variable and let's add a comma to the end and do strength mult v dot value let's go to our player removing let's go to the end add a comma after player dot psychic dot value and do player dot strength multi dot value that's the strength multiplier done if you would like you may copy and paste this well, I'm just going to type it out for you guys so we're going to do local psychic mult value equals player dot psych multi as we did up here we're going to do psych mult value equal or dot value equals get saved six keep increasing here at the end of our statement we're going to do psych value oh psychic mult dot value make sure i did it up there yeah all right and once again player dot psych multi dot value then let's see finish this off by doing our endurance multiplier so local end mult mult v equals player dot end multi let's go here and let's do end mult value dot value equals get saved seven let's go to the end of this comma and mult v dot value and finally let's go to the end here and let's do player dot and multi dot value now we should have saved all of our stats we can close out both of these scripts hit the play button 
you check output make sure having output is useful it's in the view tab and it's right there so let's open up our stats we still got our strength and we got some yin let's do some push-ups or actually let's punch wait I think I might have froze oh my bad so I had set the psychic value or multiplier to zero the strength multiplier and endurance multiplier to zero so open the leader stats so I'll check that real quick all right so if this glitch happens go to save stats if you had already tested it pretty much it had set every value to zero because you had already saved only the strength value I'm not sure if that makes sense so just increase this ID to two or just change this change it at the bottom as well now press play the stats will be reset because we changed to a different saved so I'll have no strength as you can see but our multiplier should now be working as you can see I can gain strength I can gain endurance and I can meditate for some psychic there we go so right now I'm just gonna train a little bit of strength until we get enough yin to upgrade our multiplier so it should be only a few 130 150 all right now increase as you can see now we're getting two every click now we have 30 or 40 yin 102 strength 11 endurance three psychic two times multiplier for a strength 70 yin let's close that and let's leave the game and finally let's test the game and let's see if our stats have officially saved and we're good to go if we press on open there you go every time I punch I gain two my yin is still high my multipliers are the same and my stats are pretty much the same I just trained a bit of strength so this is how you save values for our superpower training simulator game I hope it helped and goodbye